Good afternoon, my name is Michael Echabe and I'm an AEC Technical Specialist here at ATG USA. Today I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on Bluebeam Review. We're going to be covering custom stamps. Within Bluebeam Review, you have the ability to place stamps on pages such as completed or approved or supersede. It really depends on what you're looking for. Up here in the tools bar menu, you have the ability to go to stamps and you can see that there are already preloaded stamps natively in review. You're going to go down to create stamp. From here, you have the option to change the subject. I'm going to have the stamp with my name and the author is natively done through your preferences. You can assign a template. I'm going to assign a template with text with border, which is automatically going to give it Michael Echave with a border around it. You can now assign also the size of the box if you wanted to and some actual appearance options as well, such as text color and line color. I'm gonna hit okay. And as you can see, it's created my text in my stamp. From here, you can see the actual size of the stamp. And these blue icons on the outside allow you to enlarge it or make it smaller. I'm gonna drag the text up. And now I want to place a dynamic fill. The dynamic box will populate after I place a text, allowing me to select from which options I want to show. You can continue adding more if you wanted to. And from here, you can add some organization depending on how you want it to be represented. I'm gonna file save as now. And I'm gonna close out. Now I can go to my sheet, go back to tools, stamp, and see my stamp here and place it. And it'll automatically populate with the extensions as shown. That's going to complete my video today on tips and tricks on creating a custom stamp.